Today we are going to feature the ingenious EAP1200H. Our scenario is to deploy multiple access points in a multi-level motel. There are several general guidelines that we follow. One, place the access point as close to the client devices as possible. This will minimize obstructions between access points and clients so as to facilitate client's device's ability to talk back to the access point. Place neighboring access points to not be in line of sight of each other. This is to minimize code channel interference with other access points on the network and to maximize channel reuse. Stagger access points horizontally and vertically. Avoid installing access points in hallways and do not stack access points on top of each other from floor to floor. Use building structure like walls and corners to isolate neighboring access points. Avoid mounting behind obstructions above ceilings, near ductwork, pipes, and follow good wiring and mounting practices. Here is how to configure the EAP1200H in access point mode. Currently, the computer and the EAP1200H are connected together via Ethernet cable. The EAP1200H is not yet connected to the network. The computer that we are using has Windows 7 as its operating system. First, let's assign a static IP address of 192.168.1.10 on the local area connection of the computer. We already have a browser open. Type 192.168.1.1 on the address bar, then press enter to get to the EAP1200H user interface. The default username and password is admin. We are now in the EAP1200H GUI, and we will change the wireless settings first. Please make sure that the access point is set to the correct country or region. The green option is enabled and because of that, some options are grayed out, like the option to manually set the transmit power. In this video, we will uncheck the green mode so we can implement some wireless best practices. We will set the transmit power on 2.4 GHz to 14 dBm and 20 dBm on the 5 GHz. Here's where to set the wireless profiles for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Let's set the 2.4 GHz SSID to guest Wi-Fi. We'll set the wireless security of WPA2-PSKAES and type in a password. Let's do the same for the 5 GHz band. The reason why the SSID and the wireless security are the same for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz is that we are going to enable band steering. Let's click on Save, then click on Changes, where you will see a list of the settings changes. Click on Apply to finally save and apply the changes. Now let's proceed to setting the IP address for the EAP1200H. In this example, the router for the network has a local IP address of 10.1.1.1. So we are going to set a static IP address of 10.1.1.251 and default gateway of 10.1.1.1. For additional access points, we can set the next EAP1200H with a static IP address of 10.1.1.252 and so on. 
Thank you for watching this short video on setting up the EAP1200H. 